you're out on the boat, you cast, and but your line doesn't even hit the water because you just hooked your best friend. And on this week's fishing tips, Ray and Mandy show us one way you can try and get that hook out without seeking medical attention. Tonight we're gonna to talk a little bit about how to remove a fish hook if you get a fish hook in your body. Now obviously in some cases it's not gonna work the what I'm gonna show you now. Uh, you might have to sometimes snip the end of a fish hook off. And this isn't something we'd recommend the average person probably do all the time, but you might be in a situation where you're not close to a doctor or a hospital and you're in a situation where you need to get a hook out. And this is called a string technique. Imagine something's happened and Wendy's gotten hooked with this band, with this uh, large hook in her arm. And what happens usually is that the barb is buried into the skin. And so you're not going to, usually you wouldn't see the barb, all you're going to see is the top part of this hook. So I'm going to show you a basic technique for pulling it out, and it really does work. Uh, it's not for those people who are squeamy or squirmy, uh, <laughs> sorry, but it's something It doesn't take long, and it does work, and the smaller the hook, actually, the easier it is to take out. The larger the hook, the more skin damage you're going to have, but it happens so fast, the pain will be over. And if you've ever hooked yourself, I've hooked myself, I've got a hook that's gone through this thumb and kind of ruined all of the nerve endings in it here. And that one I had to cut off because the hook was so large, it went through the fingernail and made a kind of a messy deal. But it can be very painful where it's at just moving your arm. If it's in a nerve area, it's going to be, really be tender. So imagine this line is going to go to the end of your rod. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put some string through it. And I've got heavy duty string, so I don't need to wrap it around a lot of times. What you need to do is just put some string through that hook, like this, and I'm not going to tie a knot. You can tie a knot on it. Some people tie a little knot if they've got a lot of, they might have to use fishing string instead of this kind of big string like this. Now obviously this isn't going to pop out the way it would with skin because it's on a band-aid. But the line's going to the rod here. I'm going to put the string here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push down on the back of this hook, and I'm going to count to three, and I'm going to tell Mandy, when I hit three, I'm going to pull this out. And what I usually do is I pull it out on one because they're usually already scared. So you go one, two, three, bang, push it down, and you pull it out. And it really is that simple. It's important to put pressure on the back of that hook and pull that string, and that, that hook will come right out the same hole that it went into. So it's a little tip if you need it. If you don't need it, you'd rather go to the doctor or to a nurse, do that too. But it's a good way to get a hook out. I'm Ray Gilda with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Ann Eric, the Bassin Biologist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.